us to another episode in a series of episodes in which we continue looking at the August 2024 Mathematics paper team. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the right hand side of your screen. In this app, you are going to find a lot of materials that are going to be helpful to you. You are going to find quizzes based on the topical exam pass papers. You are going to find over 10,000 questions with few solutions, instant solution and detailed explanation. We look at question 10. 10 L is given that A equals a row matrix with elements 2, negative 1, 3. Find transpose of A. Then B given that A is a column matrix with 3 and 2 as elements. Then and B is a row matrix with 1 and negative 2. Find A, B. So again, this question comes. There is a question that asks you to find the transpose and also just multiply. So you are being assessed on your ability to deal with matrices. Are you able to multiply, do simple multiplication, and then also do simple transposition? In some cases, we'll be asked to find the the determinant or be given the determinant then find the value of x so it's those principles that we need to know if you want to get more practical cases of how questions can come check in the previous paper which is the 2023 internal mathematics paper one look for the playlist that contains matrices in the our companion app it's easier to locate resources in the app if you can find the resources on YouTube channel, please check out from there so that to cement your principles or your skills on this topic. So let us answer A. A is quite simple. So since we have this matrix, so if you're given a matrix, let me say A, B, C, D, this kind of matrix. To find A transpose, the thing that we do is you just swap this which were columns so these are columns becomes low low so it becomes now a b then this one becomes the second column which is c d this is transposition so what is happening is this takes this low from b it comes this side then this one c comes here and d maintains so a and a and d d are maintaining their position but b and d c they swap so alternatively what you're saying is these are swapping that's what it means for a two by two matrix so some of the same principle applies in this case so what happens in this case is since a is a row matrix so it will just become a column matrix so a transpose let me use a black color becomes now so now this one we just rotate it so we're just rotating it it becomes like this so it will be two negative one then three so this is the answer which is two negative one then three so i've given the principle to use even for more than a row matrix so this is how you answer this question once you do that you get that one mark so the key principle is understanding this principle that i've given you here once you understand that principle, then everything becomes easier. Then we go to, to B. So B, we are finding the multiplication of these two. So maybe let me just go where there is space. Or I can use this space. This space is big enough. So to find a B, what we have is we have A, which is 3 by 2. Then multiply by B, which is 1 then negative 2. So if you notice these matrices are A is how many laws? 2 by 1. So it has how many laws? This law and this law but one column. Then this is A. Then B is in A 1 row multiplied by 2 column. So you see a 1 by 2. So if these two these two are equal 
then the matrix is conformable you can multiply it if they are not equal you can't multiply if this is not one and this is one so if this is two this also need to be two for you to multiply otherwise you will not multiply so well once you say what is inside what you notice the product is what remains outside so the product will be two by two so the result should be a two by two matrix that's what should give you the result so take note of that so let us now start multiplying so when you start multiplying it will be now it will be 3 multiplied by 1, so it will be 3 multiplied by 1, that's the first one, then it will be 3 multiplied by negative 2, so it will be 3 multiplied by negative 2, so we are multiplying now this one and that one, then we go to the bottom row, it will be 2 multiplied by 1, then it will be 2 multiplied by negative 2, like that, then once you simplify this, it will be two times it will be three times one it will be three then it will be three times negative two it will be negative six then we go to the second law which is this law it will be two times one which will be two then two times negative two it will be negative four like this so meaning our answer is a two by two which will be three negative six two negative four so this is our answer so once you do that, you are good to go, you get the three marks. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Join me in the next episode as I look at question 11.